Create 6x6 digital medium format stitched images with the RhinoCam Vertex. The RhinoCam Vertex is a stitch adapter with a twist. Mount a medium format lens on the front, your full frame digital camera on the back, then rotate the camera 360 degrees to capture four photos around the center of the lens. These four photos can then be stitched together to create a 6x6 digital medium format image. With RhinoCam Vertex, you can create an image approximately 2.5 times the resolution of your full frame camera's sensor. And by rotating the sensor around the center of the medium format lens, you're able to create a stitched image similar to what you could capture with a medium format camera. Here's how to create an image with the RhinoCam Vertex. Start by mounting the lens and camera on the Vertex, then mount it on a tripod. Set the camera to manual mode, manually choose an aperture on the adapted lens, then choose an ISO and shutter speed on your camera for a balanced exposure. Also make sure to choose a color balance. If you leave the color balance set at auto, the four images may differ in color balance and be harder to stitch. Because you can only see about one third of what will become the final stitched image at a time, compose your shot by looking at the four camera sensor positions separately. Start with the camera in standard landscape orientation and compose for the bottom left of the image. Rotate the camera counterclockwise till it clicks to check the right side of the image. Then do this twice more to get a sense of the composition of your final stitched shot. Adjust the framing and focus accordingly and you're ready to shoot. Start with the camera in horizontal landscape orientation and take a shot. We recommend using a shutter release cable or a two second delayed shutter to reduce camera shake. Rotate the camera on the vertex counterclockwise till it clicks in vertical portrait orientation and take a second shot. Rotate the camera counterclockwise again until it clicks, this time with the camera completely upside down, and take a third shot. Then finally, rotate the camera counterclockwise until it clicks in the opposite vertical portrait orientation and take a fourth shot. You've now captured the four photos that will make up your final stitched image. Let's take a look at how to stitch these photos together. For this demonstration, we'll be using Photoshop. Go to File, Automate, Photo Merge, then click Browse, select the four photos, and click OK. Make sure to leave Layout as Auto and select Blend Images Together. Click OK and Photoshop will automatically process and stitch the four photos together. Do a little cropping and editing and voila! You now have a 6x6 digital medium format stitched image. Here are some tips for capturing good stitched images with the RhinoCam Vertex. Avoid scenes with lots of movement like a busy road, trees or plants blowing in the wind, or clouds moving over the sun and changing the lighting. Because you're capturing four photos, one at a time, too much movement or changing of the light will make these photos difficult to stitch and create blurry images or uneven exposures. We've also found that graduated skies can be difficult for automated programs to stitch and may require some manual editing to get right. The RhinoCam Vertex has an Arca Swiss tripod foot for easy use with any Arca Swiss tripod head or plate. We recommend using an Arca Swiss tripod head or a compact quarter 20 head and mounting the RhinoCam's tripod foot to the rear of it to make enough room for your camera's grip to clear while rotating. Larger tripod heads won't give you enough clearance to fully rotate the camera, making it impossible to capture the four required photos. The RhinoCam Vertex is an incredibly fun and creative way to breathe new life into old medium format lenses and create stunning images in the process. To learn more about this stitch adapter with a twist, including the mirrorless cameras and medium format lenses it currently supports, click the link below and click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel.